Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Just Open It, the YouTube series in which I open recently acquired action figures and toys. My name is Russ, thank you very much for watching this, I really appreciate it. If you're a fan of toys, action figure collecting, or pop culture in general, please consider subscribing to my channel, Karaoke Fanboy TV. Every week I will be opening a recently acquired toy or action figure, or collectible, like this oddity I have for you this week. It is... A Star Trek The Next Generation disc holder, specifically a three and a half inch floppy disc holder that's in the shape of a shuttlecraft. I found this at an auction recently. I, I thought the auction was going to be an estate sale, so I went with the intention of buying lots of action figures, but it turned out that those, those lots were indeed lots that you bid on, and among them was this, um, this disc holder that I, I couldn't resist for its sheer quirkiness. You could tell at one point it was priced at $6.98. I think I got this for like two bucks. And um, I thought maybe I would display small zines in it or mini comics or um, some of the paperbilia that has come with action figures in the past, like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles joke books or blueprints for like the blimp or the party van or something. So, um, We'll see, but in the meantime, I'm just going to open it for you and see what it's like. I have no idea. I haven't opened it. I've had it for months, and I'm excited about it. On the back, you can see some of the other stuff that came in this line of, um, it looks like the company's called Brainworks. So you could have transformed your entire computer to have this Star Trek vibe going on from, um, oh, it says here, a monitor mask, a mouse pad, a mouse, a keyboard, the disc holder, and a homework holder. So... Man, you could have felt like you were on the Enterprise, uh, typing up your uh, reports for school every night. But um, and if you weren't into Star Trek, then I guess you could have you could have gone into the Flintstones. I mean, nothing says modernize your computer more than Flintstones uh, merchandise, right? But then just the general Nickelodeon brand, I presume, and also Spider Man, which would be fun to find one day. I don't recall ever seeing anything like this out there, um, so I couldn't resist. The box itself has this cool little holder. So you could tote this around proudly at school. <laughs> hey everybody, look what my computer looks like at home. To which I would have replied, you have a computer? But um, I was hoping there would be an easy way to open this without damaging the box too much. And this is the, uh, the spirit of just open it, where I have no idea. Okay, here we go. I'm going to open it here on the side. Oh, well, there's a little tape there. So um, let's see. I do have scissors here from a previous episode, so I'm a little more prepared than usual. Let's get in there. Okay. And I have not looked inside this package yet. Obviously, I just opened it. It was sealed. I mean, it's been sealed since its um, release in 1995. So let's see what's in here. Oh, this is just, uh, yeah, the Brainworks um, postcard, so you could receive a catalog or something of other Brainworks stuff, but here it is. <laughs> oh, boy. Stickers. Ooh. We're going to do some sticker applying here in this episode, which is fun. But um, here it is. A little shuttlecraft, and it's got the uh, Enterprise's... Serial number here, NC, uh, NCC 1701D, of course. <laughs> but uh, you would put your three and a half inch floppy disks in there. You know, your Oregon Trail, your homework files, you know, your installation for like Windows 2. I don't, I have no idea. But um, very cool. And I mean, I don't see why I wouldn't sit an action figure in there and fly him around like he was in. Uh, the shuttlecraft Galileo going to uh, Ryza for a little shore leave or something, right? So that's pretty neat. <laughs> but we have these stickers here, and I wonder if there's some instruction as to how to apply them. I guess just the picture on the back of the box is the best um, instruction. So yeah, this, uh, this is just some warranty information here in case I'm dissatisfied with the disc holder. Um, how about they haven't released three and a half inch floppy disks in about 35 years? Is that, uh, is the warranty stand? But, um, gosh, I'm hesitant to do this on camera, but I am going to apply these stickers here. 
and uh, and finish this thing. So, um, I love Star Trek: The Next Generation. It is my uh, f the first and my still favorite version of Star Trek that I've ever watched. And I know that um, recent seasons of Picard are. I I've only watched season one of Picard. Um, I'll binge season two eventually, especially since I understand season three will feature the Next Generation cast um, much more prominently than they've been in the last uh, seasons of the card. So uh, I am excited about that, and I really hope they do those characters justice. I don't feel like they need a, a more proper send-off than the one we saw in the last episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. All Good Things, I think that episode was called and um, I was satisfied with it. The movies were cool enough as well though if I were to give a quick review of the four Next Generation movies obviously First Contact uh, is the best. Generations is great. Insurrection was essentially a long Next Generation episode. There wasn't anything incredibly remarkable about it but then the the, the last movie Nemesis left some cards on the table and spoiler of course if you haven't seen it but surely if you're watching this you have you have the death of Data, right? And you have this uh, clone of Picard. To me, the clone of Picard should have assembled a weird, bizarro team of next generation characters. So you would have had, uh, what was his name? Shinzon or something like that. You would have had him. You would have had uh, Thomas Riker, the, um, the, the clone of, of Will Riker. I think he was duplicated in a transporter accident or something like that. I don't, I don't know if I'm get, remembering that right. Lore, Data's evil brother. And then B4 would have been introduced as kind of this um, hope for the android race after the uh, destruction of, of Lore and Data, perhaps, in a fight. I just think it would have been super cool to have this, this kind of, you know, like the Justice League has its Injustice gang. That would have been a cool kind of anti- Enterprise crew, maybe an evil Klingon there to, to combat Worf and so on. Um, I just think it, Tasha Yar's um, Romulan uh, daughter could have could have been a part of this evil team, and it just would have been this uh, a way to send off the series in a super comic booky kind of like okay, wow, they're really going back into the the show and, and dipping into the the B or even C list villains to uh, to, to send them off. That just would have been something cool that maybe they could still do in an IDW Next Generation comic book or something. But really nothing to do with this uh, shuttlecraft toy. Just kind of killing time here as I'm peeling and applying stickers. Which is not one of my favorite things to do in toy collecting. It's always one of those things where it's like, oh, i got to get it just right. And even now I could see maybe I'm I'm not within the the bounds here. But... I guess the older I get, the less I care about the perfection of it, and more just the the implementation, the the, the enjoyment, having the thing at all, is cool. Um, only four stickers here total, forward and aft windows, and this one has a really narrow pinstriping there. So even in the 24th century, they got to pimp their rides, but. Um, Yep, that one got on crooked. But, um, you know, if you're watching this, leave some, some comments below about your experience applying decals to toys. Maybe you're a model builder or when it comes to uh, vintage action figure vehicles um, and play sets. Do you have any horror stories about applying stickers? Did you ever ruin um, a vehicle or a play set because you didn't put the stickers on quite right? Did you have your parents do it for you? Did you do it yourself? I'd love to know those details. As I put this last sticker on here, and the last one, of course, was the best one. But there they are. To complete the shuttlecraft's decor. And yes, indeed, I'll go find some, some zines or um, just some old paperbilia, like I said, from my action figure collection, and I'll probably put them in here to... Um, to display them properly, kind of get them out of storage, or get them out of the drawers that they're in, and have them out. This is a cool, uh, that's a cool way to use something like this in the 21st century. Thank you very much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Tune in next time when I look at one of the toys, action figures, or collectibles around my living room 
and I grab it and I say, you know what? Just open it. I'll catch you next time.